if you follow my channel, sorry I've been gone, I got sick again. <laughs> and no, this time I did not go to the VA. <clears throat> kept me in there eight days last time. I'm not going back unless I'm on my deathbed. But uh, so anyway, I uh, just want to make a quick video here. I'm out getting my exercise. You know, if you follow my channel, you know how important exercise is. Uh, you know, it's it's a hot day, but you you just got to get out in it, folks. I don't care what you're doing, tennis, racquetball, you know, whatever. You know, for me, it's hiking a lot of the time. Uh, just just like, uh, well, since the virus hit, you know, I just don't like being around people because it seems like most people have lost their minds, <laughs> but, and understandably so. Um, but anyway, let's, let's talk about the most valuable commodity in life. What do you think that is? I'm going to pause right here and just let you think about what is most, what is the most valuable commodity? Is it silver? Is it gold? What is it? It's your time. Okay, it's your time. All right, so what I want you to do now is pause this video and look back on, on today or yesterday or whatever day you want to pick. Think about where your time went. Okay, I mean, I know for a lot of us, it's that uh, you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you eat dinner, you watch TV, you go to bed, you wake up the next day and you do the same thing again. But in, in between all of that, where'd your time go? Because you got to pay bills. You know, you got you to gotta look at that inbox. You got to empty the mailbox. Where did your time go? And then think about what can you do? to eliminate some of that noise that's in your life. Okay, I guess the first one that I was big on was junk mail. Okay, remember when you used to get those credit card applications like two a day? <laughs> but they had those prepaid uh, envelopes and so I'd just stuff them right back in the envelopes and I'd put in there big bold letters, take me off your mailing list and I'd mail it back to them and cost them money, you know. But, uh, you know, with the Federal Reserve just print, 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 print money, I guess it doesn't mean a whole lot. But still, you know, somebody had to take that envelope and throw it away at whatever company you got it from. Uh, usually with a couple of the big banks. I won't name any. I don't need any lawsuits or anything. So that's a, that's a biggie. And, and sometimes that junk mail, it's going to take a phone call. You know, here's an example uh, with our investment accounts. You know, I went up and I checked all the, the boxes for electronic documents only. And I uh, did that work for the most part, yeah, but, but not all the way. So all of a sudden, you know, here I am getting a prospectus from, from a company that's this thick, you know, in the mail that I'm not going to read. I, you know, if I want to look at it, which I do, is you can go online and scan the electronic document, which is much more convenient because then you can go to the portions that are relevant to you rather than sitting there like with a book and trying to thumb to the, the page that you want to see. So uh, I finally, you know, I've called up the investment company. I said, look, man, what do I got to do to get electronic documents? And oh, there's a there's a checkbox that is not available online and we can check that for you, sir. And so then they did it. And of course, you know, and do it time, right? Do it at a time that's convenient for you, okay? You're going to be on hold. I don't care who it is. You're going to be on hold for 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. Hell, I, with, I, I'm going to call them out. Verizon, I was on hold for three hours with Verizon when I was trying to cancel my mom's uh, uh, internet uh, up in Virginia. You know, I couldn't believe it. But, uh, and so... Do you think I just sat around looking at the phone going, you know, tapping my fingers, getting mad? No, I went, went for a nice long hike. Boy, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> you get out here in the forest and I saw it. Man, I tell you, I've been seeing a lot of turtles. I'm glad to see that here in Florida. Uh, sorry, I digress. So that's, you know, that's one thing to think about. Where is all your time going? All right. Uh, so you got junk mail. Are you on Facebook or Tweet? How much time are you wasting there? Okay, I understand Facebook. Uh, sometimes there's little community groups, and uh, that's where you might get uh, the information about the, the the weekly barbecue and what's on the menu or whatever. You know, and okay, that's a that's a valuable use of your time. But if you're sitting there responding to trolls on Tweet who are calling you uh, all kinds of names, 
I won't even say, you know, everybody wants to throw on that racist card for just about everything these days. You know, what's the point? I mean, why are you wasting your time on these, these idiots? You know, let them waste their time. Hell, throw up an account for them to sit there and post on, you know. Waste their time. Don't waste yours. Um, so that's, you know, so I'm talking about social media in general, okay. I'm still on Parlor, and I... Uh, but I use it mainly just for news. I, I was posting there pretty actively as that cybersecurity guy. Um, but, you know, it just, uh, when they got taken down, it hasn't been the same, but it's a great place to get news. Because I can, you know, I can subscribe to whatever people I want to follow or uh, news organizations and, uh, and then go look at the, um, at the news on whatever it is. So that's a, that's a, that's a good thing because, you know, it's... Uh, you got to get out of uh, mainstream media. I mean, they're just going to lie to you or, or put their narrative forward, whatever that narrative may be. Probably about January 6th and how nobody with guns was an insurrection. <laughs> you know, whatever, I don't know. So, uh, getting back to time. Uh, what's another one, Leo? Think about my mom, you know. Uh, God bless her soul, but she sits there. She still pays her bills the old-fashioned way. So she'll sit down at her desk, and uh, it'll be, I mean, I've seen her in there six, eight hours, man. She's, uh, you know, looking at the paper bills and writing checks and putting that uh, 70, what is it, 70 cent stamp? I don't even know what it costs anymore. You know, putting that stamp on the envelope. And then, and then to make matters even worse, she, <laughs> she pays somebody to take, because she doesn't trust putting it in her own mailbox. So she pays somebody to take it to the... Uh, to one of those blue mailboxes uh, and, and put it in there because she feels safer that way mailing her bills and you know I've always told her I said mom you know I can do all this on oh no I don't want it I don't trust the internet and I I understand but her son calls himself that cybersecurity guy <laughs> I think I can secure internet and connection well enough for her to do online banking you know now I can't prevent her from going out and clicking on whatever but uh, you know it didn't and these days it doesn't matter you know from what I understand now, they've uh, broken these phones. Um, so they can listen in on your conversations, they can look at your email, and you don't even have to do anything. It's, uh, it's a huge invasion of privacy. So just know that anything you do on, on these, these uh, stupid phones, that's what I call them. You know, everybody wants to call them smartphones, they're stupid phones. Because you gotta be stupid to use them. Uh, other than, you know, like I do, make videos. And, um, but to, to never carry any sort of a a private conversation or a conduct criminal activity <laughs> over, your, over your, your stupid phone, you know? Because uh, just understand that no matter what you do, that somebody's watching everything that you're doing. So I'm sorry I digress, but uh, hey, you know, sometimes we do have to talk about cybersecurity just a little bit. Um, so getting back to the time topic. All right, we'll, we'll add on to this. So... Here's one for you. It's something that I, you know, I thought about it, but I never really realized how much time I wasted. So, if you if you follow my channel, I, I sold uh, a gas guzzler and I bought a new uh, Toyota Prius Prime um, just because I need the uh, 65 miles to the gallon to to drive back and forth from Florida to Virginia and maybe other places. Uh, and that's the, hey, that's another thing, boy, plan you, plan you a big trip where you, you know, I know, I understand if you got a job, you won't be able to do it. But if, uh, you know, if you're, if you're unemployed for whatever reason, you know, plan a big trip, plan on being gone for a month or two and see, see what you got to do. I mean, for me, it's been crazy, you know, for whatever reason. And I don't know what your doctor's like or, or whatever, but the VA will sit there and schedule appointments that I don't ask for. Now I think it's by design because if I don't make those appointments or don't cancel them, it's a big glitch on my, uh, my uh, access to healthcare. And uh, so they'll, they'll make note of that and say, oh, he didn't show up for his appointment. And I, I think if you miss a certain number of appointments, they'll just take you out of the system altogether and you lose your healthcare. So it's a big deal. To, so what are they doing? They're wasting my time. Okay, even today I was calling them up to cancel appointments that I didn't make. I said, look, I'm gonna be out of town. I'm going, going, you know, I'm going on a trip, you know, whatever. And, uh, oh, you know, well, I said, who made the appointment? I didn't make the appointment. 
why is there an appointment here? Oh, well, you know, it's your, and this, that, and the, oh, man, I tell you, and, and it's not just one number. You got to call multiple numbers because there's multiple appointments for different, different, different aspects. In fact, there was one in, I don't even know where it was, 850 area code. Who the hell <laughs> made that appointment? I'm just, all right, so we're getting back to time, and I was talking about the car. So here's something that hit me that I didn't even really think about was how much time do you spend at the gas pump? You know, usually, uh, like I would go to Sam's Club because they got the cheapest gas, you know, and of course I didn't really care about the uh, the old car. I mean, I could cared about it enough to take care of it, but I didn't didn't care what gas I put in it because it, you know, could burn the, you know, the, set, the, uh, the lower octane anyway, the 87 octane. So, uh, so Sam's Club, but you had to wait in line. And how long did I wait, you know? But I always I had, you know, I was maximizing my time. I might be reading email on the phone while I'm waiting in line to get the gas and everything. But since I got the Prius, I haven't, I've only been to a gas pump one time. <laughs> and there was no line. And it, it took me all of a, two minutes to fill up the gas tank with $20 worth of gas. And because and, it's only an 11 gallon gas tank and I was only half an empty. And uh, so think all the time I'm saving by not going to the gas pump. And I mean, I know that sounds silly, but you know, also there's the other aspects of the time. I was spending a lot of time keeping my old cars running. You know, there was always, you know, they always needed some sort of repair, you know, the new brakes or uh, a new, new starter. I'm trying to think, or the uh, the transmission sensor would go bad, you know, and, and so then you, you know, you're out a whole doggone day while you take it in. And uh, you know, I would always, maximize my time it wasn't that big a deal because what i do is go go get some exercise but would you rather be hiking around the the automotive place with cars and traffic and people beeping at you or would you rather be out here on the santos trail hiking making a stupid video <laughs> i mean where's your time going so that's you know so even just thinking about your car you know is, is something else to to think about. Uh, I want to do a quick exercise with you. Okay, I want you to just think back on each day and uh, and, and I'll just kind of, let's just talk about my day today. I woke up, my plan was to go out to the Ocklawaha River and do some mountain biking and make a video about it because I was going to show you portions of uh, it's really not a, a trail, but it, it's a road that goes by the river, and I've only walked down it a certain distance before I had to turn around and go back. But I looked in the garage, and there were all of our aluminum cans, and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty bad shape after being sick. Do I really want to mountain bike along the river? And so how am I going to maximize my day? Well... You know, so what did I do? I combine, this is what I'm trying to get at here is you combine things, okay? Are you just going to the grocery store or do you map your, your day out? I'm gonna go by the post office, then I'm gonna hit the grocery store, then I'm gonna go by and, uh, you know, do this, do the other, do. So when you're out running errands, don't just do one thing. You know, so what did I do? I got rid of the cans, got $4 and then came here for a hike and, uh, you know, am I, am I doing great? Heck no, because I've been sick. So, but I am adding 0.25 miles to my hike. I was out here two days ago hiking. And uh, so you say, well, 0.25 miles, you know, that's, and that's another thing in life, you know, you're going to go up and down and it's frustrating. I remember back when I ran 10 miles, you know, now I struggle just to hike a few miles. And, uh, but, you know, I try to push myself each time so today I'm adding 0.25 miles so that's that's kind of the exercise I want you to to start doing the other thing is think about where does your day go okay I kind of try to divide mine up you know I I try to accomplish one task around the house whether it be washing the sheets or uh, you know like yesterday I had a sprinkler that uh, had been run over and I finally just capped it off and and then put a permanent solution in there so that I never have to dig that sprinkler up again but it took me, you know, to do it right. Oh, here we go. I'm at uh, my 0.25 mile uh, distance, and we can turn around. But anyway, so I replaced that sprinkler, you know. 
that was basically all I got done because I was, I mean, it was hot. And I was out there in it, plus I did the previous day I had, had hiked and so I was sore and beat up. But then what do I do? Do you think I just come in and watch TV? No, I try to educate myself. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, a lot of times it's YouTube videos. So maybe I'm, I'm researching something. So, uh, got a guy coming along here. How's it going? So, uh, you know, so it could be, uh, you know, of course, with me buying the, the Prius, I, I bet I watched a hundred hours or more of videos on every car model in, in, in the universe with every person that I could see on YouTube to learn, you know, what it is that I wanted, what was important, you know, what's a, what's good quality. And, uh, you know, are, are you, are you getting all the information? Uh, you know, for, for example, I put up a video on how to change the oil on my Honda ADV. So I might watch a video on that, or I've got a new set of headphones and I'll watch a video on that. And, uh, so yeah. And, and then eventually, you know, I get to the end of my day and I'll watch something really stupid. <laughs> like, like, uh, what I'm working my way through the flash on uh, Netflix, you know, which is, uh, but I mean, it's, I, you know, usually it's, it's towards the end of my day and I can't think no more. I can't do no more. I've accomplished everything I could that day and uh, it's time to just chill out. But, you know, so I guess the question I'm asking you, are you spending your whole evening on trash TV, you know, watching the, the housewives or, or whatever TV show, the, the bachelor, I mean, or are you dividing your day up? And, you know, devote a portion of your day to education. Devote a portion of your day to, to working around the house. Devote a portion of your day to exercise. Devote a portion of your day to the finances. And it, by, above all else, eliminate that noise. Because you, you, if, you, if you're watching trash TV, then you're, you're creating noise. Okay? I, and I'm not saying don't watch a good movie I do that you know because sometimes you just got to relax like when I was sick you, I did a I did a movie marathon I can't remember the the bureau it was a cute kids show uh, the bureau of magicians or something and uh, but it, you know anyway but you know that's that's the thing value when you're when you're when you're okay and you can get out and do things because then when when you do have to settle in and be sick yeah, and you can't do nothing You'll value the fact that everything's done and you don't have to worry about it. All right, that's it for this video about time. I hope I educated you. You guys have a good one.